Rugrats is being revived with 26 new episodes, and the cult classic movie Crawl from the 1980s is coming back to theaters. Also, we've got more news and a special 2K subscriber shout out at the end of the show, so stay tuned. What up to my peoples, and welcome to Retro Crunch, your nostalgia show where we talk about all things retro. I want to start off by saying that I've been on vacation for a week and I'm sorry for bringing the news a little bit late. Also, it's going to be a condensed version because I also want to do a shout out at the end of this episode for my 2000 subscriber celebration. And let's get started. So first off, the Rugrats premiered in 1991 and was one of the most celebrated cartoon shows ever. And it's coming back to Nickelodeon with 26 brand new episodes. It's already in production and we should know when the show starts to air within a few months, according to Nickelodeon. There's also going to be a movie that's coming out, which is supposed to be released on the big screens November 13, 2020. Nickelodeon has been reviving a ton of its shows lately and this is one of the most popular ones to be named. And next up, there is a Buffy the Vampire Slayer reboot that is in the works. The show has not been picked up by a network yet, but according to Deadline.com, the show will be a contemporary version of the original. So this basically means probably more edgy, darker, and a ton of hipster vampires for sure. Also, get your calendars out and mark down August 23rd and 25th, because every 80 sci-fi nut will want to be at the 35th anniversary re-release of Crawl when it hits theaters. I'll link down below for more info on how you can catch it at the theaters near you. Then just a quick note that there's going to be a Robocop movie reboot, and the popular movie Creep Show from the 80s is getting a reboot into a TV series. And I'll link down below to where you can find out more about both of those. Oh, and if you watched The Brady Bunch growing up, the house is up for sale. Yep, you just need $1.885 million to snag this bad boy. And if you remember this... There's a new pet. Chia. Chia Pet, the pottery that grows. Yep, Chia Pets is back with a ton of new stuff like Yoda, the Golden Girls, and even Rick and Morty. I'll link below to where you can get in on the 80s Chia Pet craze fun even now. And then for my peoples in the audience, y'all know that I just hit 2,000 subscribers, and this time I wanted to pay it back to YouTube for all the love that I've received. So I am doing a quick shout out to two channels that are small, but I really think that they're great creators that are on the up, and I think that they deserve more subscribers. So first off, and one of my favorite quirky retro channels is Lenny Lucky. This guy has made me a laugh a ton on his channel. He talks about retro stuff, he loves nostalgia, and he's quirky and interesting. And please go check him out, say hi, and see what he's all about. And hopefully, if you like him, go ahead and subscribe. Then the other channel is my Blacktastic brother from another mother. It's uh, Blacktastic News. The owner, Hypnotic, he's a poet, a musician, a writer, and he does some of the best reviews of black exploitation movies on YouTube. So please give him some love as well. I'll link to both their channels in the description down below. And to all my peoples, thank you guys for the support. I love what we are trying to do here on this channel. And be sure to spread the word that retro is back, baby. Also, if you know some cool retro channels that I need to be looking into, uh, let me know in the comments down below because I would like to have more channels that I can um, do shout outs for that are sort of related to this type of channel. And with that, that's your retro news for the week. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We put out retro videos a few times a week, so if you are into retro and nostalgia stuff, you're in the right place. All right, my peoples, I hope you all enjoyed the show, and I will catch you all on the flip side. And remember, if it ain't retro, it ain't worth watching.